Hello and welcome to 3.0TV. This is Manoj Dara. So, cryptocurrencies were trading lower on Monday as sentiment for risk sensitive assets continue to deteriorate in the wake of the US job report that was on Friday. So, market participants refrained from making investment bets ahead of the key inflation data release and the FOMC minutes outcome, which is scheduled to be released on Wednesday. So, IC15 index of cryptocurrency was trading down by 0.5% at 28,030 points. If you talk about the, the recent strength of the US dollar has actually impacted the overall cryptocurrency market, which is coupled with the US employment data release, which shows that the unemployment is declining, giving more confidence to the Fed to take a more aggressive approach with the monetary policy to control inflation. That's what actually the, the thing is, which is bothering the markets going forward. Dollar index movement and the Fed's monetary policy stance related developments will be key to watch. Bitcoin was trading at $19,321, down 0.5%. If you talk about Bitcoin and, and its last few trading sessions has traded flat over the weekend as bears continue to pressure the market. Despite the global bearish trend, the number of active investors in Bitcoin network has increased by 4.5 million since Jan 1, 2020, since the beginning of this year. And market experts also believe that the US inflation data which is scheduled to be released on October 13 will be a key market moving event that will give a clear picture of whether the central bank will stay the course or not. If you talk about Ethereum, the second largest crypto was down by 0.4%, trading at 1,312, although about the crucial $1,300 mark. The global crypto market was at $936 billion, down 0.44%. So, However, the total crypto market volume over the last 24 hours was 39 billion, which is up interestingly by 25%. On my left, Binance BNB was down 1% to trade at $274. Shiba Inu was trading down by 1.2%. Uh, Cardano's ADA token was next on the list, was down by 1.3% to trade at $0.41. Next on the list is Avalanche FX, which was trading at $16, down by 1%. Doge, the popular meme coin, was down by 1.6%, was trading at $0.060. Ripple's XRP token was trading at $0.51, down by 0.1%. So, all eyes remain fixed on the pending outcome of the Securities Exchange Commission's court action against Ripple. A positive outcome for the letter could send XRP even higher, that's what the analysts are saying. Next on the list is Polygon Matic, which was trading higher by 0.4% at 0.8%. $82. Sorana Sol was up by 0.1%, was trading at $32. Last on the list is Polkadot, which was up by 0.1%, was trading at $6. So, if you talk about the overall market at a time when the global exchanges have witnessed a drop in trading volume, the NFT segment is the most underperforming sector in the Web3 space. We spoke with Toshinda Sharma of NFT Gali. Let's listen in his view of the overall health of the NFT space. So I think the uh, overall market, as expected, has corrected itself, and uh, this correction was, uh, you know, I would say very well welcome for the innovators like us who are believe in the fundamentals of the technology, and it has a very decent life uses uh, for the entire planet itself. And uh, correction has happened, you know, with a massive volume fall from. Uh, you know, 97% fall and from 100 till 100% till it's now 3%, which was, you know, well expected. And uh, uh, this has happened because most of the, uh, you know, the key projects which are fetching most of the volume, you know, or selling an NFT for 100 million, 200 million, uh, 50 million, 5 million, 10 million, they have now corrected itself to the real value, which is like $10,000, $100,000. And since the volume actually calculate on the basis of the accumulated value of the each trade, so if an NFT is being sold for 100 million and then again sold for 100 million, the volume is now 200 million. So obviously, since this value from 100 million has fallen to $100,000, the value has become a $200,000. So this is overall being reflected in the numbers. But as we all know that number of traders or number of buyers and sellers who are actually engaging in the NFT transactions have not fallen down much, which is a, a sign which says that uh, it means that number of interested parties are still active. However, the value they were fetching and getting earlier is not being accepted now. So uh, this is not a surprise for anyone. And uh, I believe that, you know, the future, uh, there is a decent future hold for the NFT overall because of the uh, value it possesses as a technology, which is not replicable in the centralized technologies anywhere in the world. 
so we must yes it will take some time before this goes back but maybe not as high as this was been in the beginning of this year but yes this will be up again so if you talk about the overall cryptocurrency market and its technical aspect bitcoin price started a fresh decline from a $20,200 level and bit and bitcoin has actually declined below $20,000 mark and was even lower than 19,800 levels and is actually termed as a bearish zone the bears even pushed the price below 1000 $19,500 level and the 100 hour simple moving average so it is actually trading as low as $19,249 and recently started a short term upside correction that's what analysts have highlighted there was a minor increase about $19,400 and $19,500 levels which was actually noticeable on the upside and emitted resistance which is now at $19,550 levels. The next major resistance sits near $19,700 so keep an eye on these two figures. Zone and the 100 hour simple moving average. Ethereum price has collected the liquidity resistance below the October 5th which is equals to low which was around $1,315 on October 8th. This spike is selling pressure collected the sell top liquidity, triggering a more quick reversal among the pushed Ethereum, which, which has actually pushed the Ethereum prices by 2.7% or where it currently trade as the level is $1,330. So going forward, investors can expect Ethereum price to, to move sideways in going forward and collects the buying stop liquidity resistance which is above the October 5th swing highs. In some cases, this move could extend higher and retest the upper limit of the consolidation at $1,423. That's what analysts have already highlighted. They, although unlikely if Ethereum price flips the $1,423 hurdle into a support floor, this bullish move could extend to $1,571 which would constitute a 17% gain for investors. That's what analysts have added. That's all there is in today's coin monitor. This is Manoj Dara signing off. But keep watching 3.0 TV for more fundamental and technical aspects. Thank you.